I can see a new Hammer House, a horror film coming out for this. Revenge of the Dormice. This one's big, it's got 18 teeth and it's even got tattoos. I'm beginning to wonder whether I've underestimated the wrath of the Dormice. Ah! Sorry, I was bitten. Bastard. That's what I was warning you against. So that's a good sized bite, that is. Ah, I told you. Boris wants me to get close up with a Dormouse, but I'm apprehensive. Chef mauled by mouse isn't a great headline. Yeah, are you ready to take risk? Uh, yeah, I'd rather not be bitten, but... We need to be careful how to handle it. After his vicious attack, bold Boris is taking no chances. He's using ether anaesthetic and some ladies' tights to protect me. It's certainly the first time I've ever seen dormice in tights. I think that's a name for one of next year's pantos. Even this large amount of anaesthetic will only knock out the wild dormouse briefly. We've got a minute before it wakes up and realises it's being manhandled. I'm beginning to wonder if this is a good idea. Can I ever turn this mighty mouse into a Christmas starter? Apparently, this little animal threatened to bring down the whole Roman Empire. They were almost becoming addicted to eating dormice, and this was a, a bad distraction that was going to undermine the whole discipline of the great Roman Empire. Well, but this one is not directly responsible. No, I, I don't think we can... Empire, <laughs> so we can uh, release it. Fortunately for my new pal, I can't eat him because dormice are off season. But Boris has a secret frozen stash of them from last year. I just need to get started. I'm going to eat one to find out why the Romans went so crazy about them. This is certainly the first time I've ever skinned a dormouse. <laughs> In Slovenia, women traditionally rule the kitchen. Okay. Good. Yeah, good. So Vera and Yogi aren't so sure if I'm up to the challenge of cooking the prize mice. Oh, I'm under pressure now. One by one, one next to one. And do they have a favourite part of the dorm mice? Oh, shunkita. <laughs> shunkita. <laughs> oh, no bottom. Yeah. <laughs> Just the ladies. Like a bit of, <laughs> bit of butt cheek. Yes, I Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> this technique is what you call a braise. So it's, it's not a stew, it's not a roast. So you start, the onions have been browned. The dormice have gone in. You see the liquid's in there just partly to stop the onions cooking anymore. It's time to bite into a bit of dormouse bum. Mm. It's really good. It is rich, it's nutty, it's moist. I can definitely vouch for dormouse bottom.